Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about Zentangles. So you may have heard of Zentangles, some of you may have done Zentangles before. Zentangles are intricate repeating patterns that are combined to make something interesting while also taking sort of a Zen meditative approach to a relaxing art form. It's not meant to be stressful at all. So this is the official Zentangle website where they explain what is a Zentangle. So it's a method of drawing to, it's easy to learn, it's relaxing, it's fun, but in the end you have a beautiful end result. The patterns that you use are called tangles. So you create tangles with combinations of dots, lines, simple curves, things like that. Um, mostly you work with line. Sometimes you can work with shading. Sometimes you can add colored pencil or color on top of it afterwards, um, but those enhancements are all after the main tangling into it. So keeping in mind this website, they kind of want you to buy their materials, buy their uh, resources, but it is the source of where the Zentangle method came from. So that's why I'm showing it to you. Um, a lot of times, you know, Zentangles are supposed to be just to calm down, just to relax. It's not meant to be any specific end result. So if you have something that you call a mistake, um, well, it's more of an opportunity, something that you may not have otherwise explored, okay? So making sure that if you feel like you've made a mistake, you work with it and figure out how you can incorporate it into the rest of your design, okay? Um, even though it's called Zentangle, it's just their title for it, kind of thinking about gratitude, appreciation, you can treat it as a form of prayer if you like, um, but it's not related to Zen Buddhism necessarily. It's just a way to say it's Zen, it's calm, and it's relaxing.